dreamers and welcome back to my channel today you guys will be coming along as I transform myself into an e-girl I love the video where I transform myself into a Barbie and I watched Doja Cat's e-girl transformation and I thought pink hair is my jam like let's get into it and have a little e-girl moment so I got this pink wig from Motown Tress I will link all the details below but uh, or if you guys want to see the review there will be a review on my channel but yeah this wig needed a lot of work so <clears throat> you guys will watch me transform this wig into something but basically I'm just gonna straighten the hair and do what I do with the baby hairs um, and we'll come back and talk about the makeup in a second Like always with my makeup, you want to start off with a primer. I'm using the Maybelline Studio Master Primer, if I believe. And then I'm just going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This foundation is a little bit lighter than my skin tone, which I purposely chose because the e-girls look is kind of just like washed out, kind of like this sickly, pale, ashy look. So that's why I went ahead and used a uh, foundation that was lighter than my skin tone. And then I'm going to take my concealer and just brighten and just highlight and contour all the areas that I normally do. You guys know this routine is, you know, I've done this on my channel a million times. You know what highlighting and contouring is. So I'm doing that and then I'm going to be baking under my eyes. While I'm baking, I went ahead and grabbed this Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick in the color Walnut, and I'm using it to contour. I'm not doing a heavy contour, just want to give my face some shape and some dimension again. So I'm just blending that out with a buffing brush. And now moving on to my eyebrows, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade, and I'm just going to just run through my brows like I always do. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face with the LA Girl Pressed Powder um, in that same shade as my foundation. Now I'm just using another pressed powder that is lighter than my actual skin tone and I'm just setting my under eyes in all the areas that I highlighted. Um, this is also nothing new for my channel but following along here now for blush you guys are going to notice that I'm putting blush just kind of all over my face this look is very pink very blushy and just cut just very animated so I'm going very very overload with the blush and I'm putting it on the apples of my cheeks I'm putting it on my nose I'm putting it just all around the center of my face to give me that like cold sickly look Now that my blush is laid down, I'm just going to go and contour the normal parts of my face, my cheekbones, and then I'm going to take my time and really create a little button nose shape with my bronzer. Now 
and then to finish off that shape and kind of make my nose pop I'm just taking my highlighter and putting it on the top of my nose and also down the bridge of my nose and then highlighting the normal parts of my face. Today I also highlighted my cupid's bow. I don't normally do that, but for this look I felt it was necessary. And then I'm going to take a makeup wipe and just remove all of the product that got onto my lips, all the foundation and concealer and powder that got on my lips. I want to take that off and it makes my lips look very pink. And then I'm taking this dual sided eyeliner that I got from Dolls Kill. One side is an eyeliner and the other side is a heart stamp. It's makeup um, and you'll see me do the hearts on my face later. But right now I'm taking my blush, the same blush that I used on my face, and not that it has to be, but just a blush, and I'm just putting that in my crease, nothing too crazy. Now to take this look to the next level, I went ahead and did the two hearts under my eyes. You can do whatever kind of hearts you want or put them wherever you want. I just chose where um, I put mine, obviously. And then I'm just going to finish off my hair and add a couple of faux freckles. And that completes this look, you guys. I love it. I love it. 